the first and the last leisure outpost of the country, Goa continues to lure in urban dwellers to capture a slice of the Goan Susegal. After the liberation of Goa in December 1961, the Indian Customs and Central Excise inherited the old heritage building. History is retained in modernity with the ultramarine indigo blue to mark the main indigo export from the Portuguese colony. This is the pride of its inheritors, the Commissionerate of Customs and Central Excise Goa. The Indian Customs and Excise Museum is the first of its kind in India, depicting the rich history of the department. The museum was inaugurated on the 25th of July 2009 by Sri Pranam Mukherjee, the then Honorable Union Finance Minister. Start the tour with the foyer, where the paintings of the heritage buildings of customs houses in India are displayed. Customs Heritage Gallery welcomes you next. The attraction is the depiction of the Harappan civilization and international trade carried out in the second century. This museum is the proud owner of the original manuscript of the Aine Akbari, written by Abu Fazl. This rare handwritten manuscript of the 18th century is a prize catch of the Indian customs. Next on show are the coins that depict the punch marked coins, silver, which are dated from the 6th century BC to the 1st century BC. The weighing scale and the weights used earlier by customs officials and a replica of the facade of the customs house is worth seeing. The arms and ammunition gallery where we see firearms, a prized collection of a brass pistol engraved with number 2 and with fish inscription at the handle empty cartridges and rifles used by the officers of this department. A moment of pride and valor, we now see the uniforms badges gallery, which depicts the uniforms and liveries of officers of different grades, along with some more interesting and amazing artifacts like buttons with different impressions and much more. The Battle of Wits gallery is one of the most fascinating galleries as it depicts the continuous struggle between the officers of the customs and central excise and the smugglers and tax evaders. Recreating the methods used by the smugglers to smuggle contraband goods to tell the story of India's smuggling history. The seizure gallery items showcase various sculptures, figurines and items which have been contributed by various commissionerates. The gallery on ozone depletion substances attempts to enlighten the visitors about environmental hazards. An airport situation is replicated through life-size diorama dealing with various activities like green and red channels in an international airport. The lobby has pictures of customs officers in duty for the nation. Central Excise Gallery in its Showcase 1 displays commodities like cotton yarn, thread on which excise duty was first imposed under the Tariff and Cotton Duties Act of 1894 by the British India Government. Showcase 2 has foodstuff which were covered under Central Tariff in British rule. The Narcotics Gallery is next which depicts the cultivation of opium and photographs showing the processing of banned narcotics. The International Customs Gallery depicting ties with different countries is next in line. The Customs Laboratory showcases the many instruments used by the customs officials. The Sports Personalities Gallery showcasing various trophies, cups and awards won by the staff of Customs and Central Excise Commissionerate. Come as a tourist and leave the museum soaked in the rich history of the Customs and Central Excise Department.